to be honest, to be frank, the only way this game would have been ready is if this game came out in 2023. I, I shit you not. And when I mean ready and complete, I mean they have you know some expanded content of some sort, and they have the multiplayer done, and everything's you know running out of functional condition. That's what I mean, you know, complete. This game would have had to came out in 2023 to be in that condition because the multiplayer, if you guys aren't aware of that right now because you had how bad this game is currently on the 8th gen hardware, the multiplayer is supposed to come out within a year of release, or like a year of release. That's what CD Projekt Red said like a couple of months ago regarding this game. So the multiplayer would be supposed to be out like a year from now. And you see the state the game is in currently without the multiplayer and without any extra content. So, yeah, the only way this game would have been ready in a, a playable state or a solid state was this game would have, this game would have to come out in 2023. It, it sounds absurd, but it would have been a 10 year project. And that just shows how bad management was when it came to this project and handling it when it comes to time management in general because I'm hearing stuff how the game was developed in 2016 like after they finished The Witcher 3 which quite fr frankly I don't give a fuck when it was developed this game was announced in 2013 I'm pretty sure the investors put money in it in like in 2012 or even earlier so the investors put money in this game around 8 some odd years ago they're waiting on return and investment and then consumers were aware of this game 7 years ago and you've been feeding them marketing, you know, for the last seven fucking years. You're getting them, you know, hyped as shit. And they're waiting for a good game. And then we get this shit. We get a, a buggy game. I won't say if the game's good or bad or not. I haven't played it. I know there's some objectively bad things in this game. Like, uh, the AI and the police system. I know that shit. I could just look at it. The performance and shit. And, uh, why they did turn a profit on their first day with 8 million pre-orders. Or before the game launched, why they did turn a profit on that. CD Projekt Red stock stock dropped like 16%, which is a uh, fucking <laughs> astronomical. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this game, wow, management, yeah, you, you done, you done fucked up. You really done fucked up with this one. But, like, speaking of that, if this being that this game was revealed in 2013, like. Even if it was revealed in 2013 and they didn't start working on it until 2016, then what the fuck did they do for those three years? Nothing? Nothing at all? And you could Wow, I just I just don't get it. And not even buy this game. It's just crazy seeing, you know, such a colossal failure of a launch of a game. And there's been games that came in more broken states, like a Fallout 76, but they didn't keep get delisted from the PlayStation Store. There wasn't Microsoft Extreme refunds for them, so... Why, you could say games that launched terrible, like Anthem, or No Man's Sky, or Fallout 76, why you could say those games launched in worse states, or like, more disappointing, there weren't mass refunds for them. They weren't getting delisted. And Adam Kaczynski... Oh man. Uh... After Christmas, after holidays, I'm pretty sure he will not have a job. Actually, I'm pretty sure he's a CEO. So, he's gonna have to like step down or resign. But everyone else in management, <laughs> they're getting fired. <laughs> they're getting fired. Just to, to be frank, that's what's going to happen. They're gonna get fired. They're gonna reshuffle the deck. They're gonna clean house. Because this is embarrassing. This is terrible. My game to launch in this state. And, you know, for Adam Kaczynski, a few months ago, in an investor call, talking about how they weren't crunching employees, how that was a lie, on how the game runs surprisingly well on the PS4, how that was a fucking lie, and then with their most recent emergency meeting, on how they should have focused more on the game running well on the PS4 and the Xbox One. What? He, he's gotta go. I made jokes about Joe Sika having to be fired, but objectively speaking, due to the success of Modern Warfare, Joe C. Cal being positioned to get a raise. But Adam Krasinski, yeah, he's gotta go. And those, those other guys that were on those apology letters with the you know the yellow walls of text, sorry gamers, yeah, they they gotta go too. They gotta go too. So yeah, um, the, the mishandling 
of, of time, of development costs, or of just funds in general because all the money went to the marketing of this game. It's obvious. All the money went to the marketing of this game because there's so much cut content. There's things that just aren't executed well, like, uh, again, the police AI. And then, you know, there's some clear oversights in this game. Just like with the, you know, character customization, you customize your genitals, right? But you can't get a fucking haircut. Really? Really? In the year 2077? You can't get a fucking haircut? Uh, but... Yikes, man. And then they got some shit with... Another game, Devotion. I'm pretty sure on how they gotta... <laughs> they're, they're taking heat for that because... They had a joke in there about uh, <laughs> the leader looking like Winnie the Pooh. And, I mean, I won't give them too much flack for that because uh, all these markets capitulate to China in some degree because they like making money. So it's not that, you know, that communist. Like, I, I'm seeing a lot of brain dead comments like that. Oh, that communist. I'm like, it's not that. They just like making money. Call of Duty did the same shit a few months ago. The team in square footage and one of their trailers, they just completely removed that. And their trailer disappeared off YouTube. So. I'm not surprised that, you know, CD Projekt Red is, you know, capitulating to the Chinese government. And it's just hard for these corporations to say uh, no to, like, billions of people and, like, billions of dollars in that market. So it's hard for them to say no to that. But if you want to get mad at someone for that and get mad at the companies for keep saying yes to trying to sell their, their products over there, like, it's that simple. I don't know why people are upset about that or why they're surprised that that would happen. Because it's, it's happened before. It's gonna happen again. <laughs> it's happened with any one of these games that are sold in China. So, yeah, I don't know why people are upset about that. But I do know why people are upset about the way Cyberpunk 2077 was handled in the state was launched in. And last but not least, uh, don't defend this shit. Please don't. Cause I I've been seeing people with next gen hardware, and, uh, you know, great gaming rigs defend this saying, well, it's on old hardware. Of course it wouldn't run right. People were expecting a playable game, alright? They said it runs surprisingly well on PS4. They thought it was going to be playable. They weren't expecting a fucking miracle. They just expected a playable game. And I don't even know why the whole just just buy a, a next generation console or just get a better gaming rig. Have you seen this shit with the scalpers and bots? Have you seen it? It's someone that has a PS5. I have one. I got one. But it was hard to get. After multiple failed attempts with these retailers, I got lucky and got mine off Amazon, alright? So, don't do that. Because most people that want to get an extra console and that can afford one, they can't get it due to, due to the scalpers and the bots. It's just that hard to get. Same thing for the new video cards and graphics cards. They're just that hard to get right now. So yeah, don't defend this shit. You defend this shit is how we get terrible games, but hopefully this sets a precedent that they will not allow shitty games like this to launch in their platforms. And with that out the way, y'all stay safe. I'm out, Cyberjunk 2020.